Northwestern head volleyball coach Beth Wilmeth, you're coming off of your team's second weekend of play and Northwestern currently stands at a 1-7 record. Obviously uh, not where you expected to be in terms of wins and losses, especially after your team received votes uh, in the AVCA preseason poll, but can you kind of give us your perspective on how the season has gone thus far? Yeah, I do think we're that team that received votes for the AVCA poll. I think we're going to be a good team. I just think we've battled some things that we didn't expect to battle right away. I mean, we knew our schedule was going to be tough. We knew it was going to be a fight every match that we went into play, but we didn't think when we scheduled those matches that we'd be without three people that we potentially thought would be on the court for us. So we've done some good things in spite of the injuries that we've had, um, but we're definitely looking forward to being 100% healthy um, when we face these teams hopefully this weekend. Is it hard to find the positives uh, with your team start, at least how it looks on paper? I think it's been challenging for us, for me too, not just the players, um, to be a team that's 1-7 and seven and to see that out there. At the same time, it's kind of almost ironic that our team verse this year is Romans 8:28, that God works all things together for good to those that love him and are called according to his purpose. And even in our Bible study time, we've been really challenged that we are not what we do, but we are someone that God loves. And we've had to put that to the test this season. It's it's hard to remember that you're not that number, that we're a good team, and that ultimately that's not the most important thing anyways. Northwestern has an overall attacking percentage of 187 so far this year, which isn't a terrible number, but your opponents have hit 261 against you. How do you interpret that? Well, I interpret that as we've played some really good teams um, with some really good offenses, and we haven't had our best defensive players in the match. So I think we've done actually pretty well offensively, considering we're not necessarily in system as much as we'd like to be. Our middles the first weekend hit nearly 300 over the course of those four, four matches, and then we had two outsides that we weren't necessarily planning on using early on the season. Lizzie and Lydia played outside this past weekend and did pretty well this past weekend for us. So. Ten of your varsity players have seen court time in four or more of your matches, uh, your eight matches this season. So how does that help develop your team? I think we've seen a lot of good things from people that are coming off the sidelines, and they've stepped up, maybe initially been frustrated in certain points early on in matches, but have done a good job in rebounding. Lydia is a player that comes to mind that's played really well for us this past weekend. We've played three different people at right side now, four different people at outside, three different people at middle. Um, Carrie Miller played back row for the first time in her collegiate career all the way around this past weekend for us. So we've been able to be versatile, and that's helped us at least compete well. We haven't always won, but we've, I felt like we've competed competed every match we've played. Let's shift gears looking forward a little bit to this Wednesday's home, home opener when you host uh, St. Benedict who's yeah. ranked 19th in that same national preseason poll. The Blazers have yet to lose this season mm -hmm. um, so chances are we'll see them go up in the coaches ballots yep. uh, this week but when you faced off against them the first day of the season did anything look different than last year's NCAA tournament match against them and in your opinion are they beatable? I think um, the Blazers are a great team. They're well coached. They're very disciplined. They've got a good offense. They're very scrappy. They're doing some things really well. At the same time, they are they're familiar to us because they have a lot of the same players returning, most of their players returning. Um, I think for us it's going to be a question of how healthy we are on Wednesday when we take the court. Um, last When we played them last time, we were just coming off of a five-set loss. We weren't fresh. Um, we had some players that we were, that were hurting, starting to hurt injury-wise, so we were sitting them. So. I think Wednesday for us is going to be a question of if we're healthy or not and if we can execute on the things that we know how to do and just be able to com complete them and finish them. So as we wrap up, in your opinion, what will it take to win Wednesday's match? Uh, I think we have to be healthy. I think we have to pass well. I think we need to first ball side out well. And I think we need to be able to defend and know um, what their tendencies are on offense. I think we were a little shell-shocked when we first played them. Our block was kind of scrambling. Our defense was surprised at some stuff that came over. I think um, after watching a little bit of film on them and hopefully getting everyone in practice this week, we can keep more balls alive. Great. We'll see you on Wednesday. Thanks.